Welcome back to our series of training videos devoted to the backup and recovery of Office 365. This video focuses on the backup and recovery operations for SharePoint site collections and individual and group sites. So let's get started. As you remember, Acronis Backup Cloud is natively integrated with Office 365 Enterprise and Business Editions. This integration allows you to perform full backup of all SharePoint site collections belonging to a specific Office 365 tenant as well as backup of SharePoint team sites. As regards the recovery capabilities, the Acronis Backup Cloud allows you to perform full recovery of site collections and team sites and granular recovery of individual lists, document libraries, documents, and list items, including their attachments. Unlike other backup solutions available in the market, the Acronis Backup Cloud allows you to recover the SharePoint entities to the same or different Office 365 tenants. This is especially beneficial for large companies having many subsidiaries. First, we will show you step-by-step -step how to perform full backup of all SharePoint site collections and team sites. Then we'll demonstrate for you how to perform the recovery operations for these sites. We assume that your company has two Office 365 tenants and you've registered both tenants in the Backup Management Console. Let's log in to the Backup Management Console as a company administrator. In order to perform a full backup of all SharePoint site collections of a specific Office 365 tenant, navigate to Site Collections and then All Site Collections. In the right pop-up panel, press the Group Backup button. In the section Items to Backup, select All Contents. By default, the Acronis Backup Cloud will store your backups in the highly secure Acronis Cloud. Please notice that the SharePoint Backup is a resource-consuming operation, and therefore, by default, the Acronis Backup Cloud performs automatic backups once a day to reduce server load. You can specify the backup retention policy, that is, how long to keep the backups on the server side. You can clean up old backups by age or number of backups. Alternatively, you can keep all the backups indefinitely. Finally. You can enable encryption and protect your backup with a sophisticated password. Press the Apply button to finalize the backup plan. It will be scheduled to run automatically. Let's have a look at the backup of individual SharePoint site collections now. In order to backup an individual SharePoint site collection, navigate to Site Collections and then all site collections. Select an individual SharePoint site collection that you would like to back up and in the right pop-up panel, press the backup button. If you selected just one site collection in the section Items to Backup, you can specify the subsites of the selected site collection to back up via the live browsing. In turn, if you selected multiple site collections in the section Items to Backup, you can specify which entities of those selected site collections to back up via some fine-grained rules. Finally, let's have a look at the backup of SharePoint team sites. In order to backup all of the SharePoint team sites, navigate to Groups and then All Groups. In the right pop-up panel, select the Group Backup. In the section What to Backup, select SharePoint Sites. The procedure for creating a group backup plan for team sites is similar to the one for site collections.
Press the Apply button to finalize the backup plan. It will be scheduled to run automatically. Let's have a look at the recovery operations now. In order to recover a SharePoint site collection, navigate to Site Collections and then All Site Collections. Select a particular SharePoint site collection that you would like to recover and in the right pop-up panel, press the Recovery button. If you'd like to perform the full recovery of a SharePoint site collection, select the root folder in the site backup structure. Alternatively, if you would like to perform granular recovery of specific SharePoint site entities such as lists or document libraries, select the corresponding entities. You can find a desired site or its entity using the advanced search capabilities of the Acronis Backup Cloud. Along with the site and its backups, you can recover also the corresponding sharing permissions. The Acronis Backup Cloud supports the recovery of sharing permissions at three levels for sites, lists, and items. Moreover, you can download all the recoverable entities on your local machine. Please notice that you can perform both full and granular recovery of SharePoint site collections to the same or different locations. Moreover, you can recover both SharePoint site collections and its entities the same or different Office 365 tenants. Press the Start Recovery buttons to initiate the recovery process. You can allow overwriting the content of the existing site in the recovery destination if needed. The recovery progress can be traced in the right pop-up panel or under Activities. Let's have a look at the recovery of SharePoint team sites now. In order to recover a SharePoint team site, navigate to Groups and then All Groups. Select a SharePoint team site that you would like to recover and in the right pop-up panel, press the Recovery button. The full and granular recovery options for a team site are similar to the corresponding operations for site collections. Please notice you can perform both full and granular recovery of SharePoint team sites to the same or different locations. Moreover, you can recover both the SharePoint team site and its entities to the same or different Office 365 tenants. That's it. Are you excited about the capabilities of the Acronis Backup Cloud? You have an opportunity to try our easy, efficient, and secure data protection solution right now. Just go to our website at acronis.com and request a trial account for the Acronis Backup Cloud. Have fun!